Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again. Today I will be teaching you how to do the factoring of sum or difference of two cubes. So basically the structure of your given will be like this one. You must have a cube, two cubes, and you must have a sum or difference. Okay, so either ikaw ay merong sum or difference ng dalawang cubes. Okay po? Now, the factoring method of this one is actually quite simple, okay? The first thing that you have to do is you have to get, let me just write it down. Number one, you have to get the cube root of the two terms. Sabihin lang po, ikukunin niya, for example, you have this A cube and B cube. Kukunin niyo lang po yung cube root ng parehas na yan. Okay po. And when we're talking about cube root, you can either search online or basically it's like this. You will look for three numbers uh, for a number multiplied thrice to itself. So, sabihin yung number na yun, i-multiply mo ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya. So, for example, pag kinuha natin yung cube root ng 8, ang sagot is 2 times 2 times 2. Parehas na number multiplied to itself. Therefore, the cube root of 8 is simply 2. Isa lang yung kukunin mo. Okay po. So, going back, yun po yung rule natin. Okay? So, after that, na makuha niyo yung cube root, you have to ayan, you have to look at this part. Okay? Ang gagawin mo daw dyan is you have to express your two cube roots okay, as this form. So, express in the form. Ito, sorry. In the form. Anong form yung, yung binax natin na blue? So, ito yan. Okay po? So, ganyan po yung gagawin nyo. Yan po yung importante part when it comes to the uh, factored form of the sum or difference of two cubes. Okay po? So, yan. So, basically, what you need to do here is, firstly, you need, let's go, going back here. Uh, firstly, you need to get this part, the binomial part. Okay po? And the binomial part is just simply combining the two, okay, combining, not necessarily doing any operation sa kanila, combining the two, put them, putting them together with a plus or a minus. Okay po? So, combine mo lang sila with a plus or a minus. Let me just erase this. Um, okay. Next, the next thing you have to do is you have to express this part. Itong part na yan, ang ginagawa lang naman dyan, you are getting the square of the two terms, okay? And then, multiplying them dito sa middle term, okay? Now, operation-wise, ang ginagawa naman natin, kung plus yan, plus din to. And ito ay minus, alternate lang. So, kung ito ay minus, ito minus, ito naman plus. Okay po? So, um, to give you a specific explanation, let's uh, have an example po. Okay po. Say we have x cubed plus 8. Okay. Ano kayong factored form nito? The first thing that you have to do is you have to get the square root of x cubed and the square root of 8. Okay po. After nyo pong makuha yan is for this one, this is x kasi yun yung cube root ng x and this is 2. Okay po. After nyo makuha yan, what you need to do is um you need to express the given in the form, yung ating factored form, which is ito nga, ayan. So, kung, since plus yan, ito yung gagamitin natin, yung nandun sa pinakataas. Diba? So, ang gagawin natin, sabi daw dito, pagsatabihin mo lang yan. Kung plus to, dapat yung binomial mo, plus din. Okay po? And then, on the trinomial part, you have to square this term. Okay? Since plus na yan, so ito magiging minus. The product of these two, 2x, times, ay, plus, I mean, the square of the last term, which is 2 squared. Okay, and this would be your factor 4. Okay? So, para mas makita nyo ng mas specific, ano bang nangyayari, susulat ko ulit. Let's have another example. Say we have 9, oh, sorry. Um, say we have 27. That's 27. 27x cubed minus 
y cube. Ipo. So, let's get the square root of 27. I cube root, I mean. Sorry. So, my cube to. And then, let's get the cube root of 8y cube. Ipo. Um, let's make this as, ano? Let's make this as 6. Okay. So, this one, 27. Ang cube root ng 27 is 3. Ang cube root ng x cube is x. Okay po. So, ito, ang, ito ay naging ano pala, 6. Okay. Ang cube root ng 8 is 2. Ang cube root ng y is y squared. Kasi y raised to 6 yan, i-divide mo yung 6 by 3. Kaya naging y squared. Okay. So, ito na yung dalawang term mo. So, anong gagawin mo dyan ngayon is you just have to put it like this. Put them together. Minus. Okay. And then, on this part, ang ginagawa natin dito is like this for a while. Let me write this down properly. This is 3x minus 2y squared. And this one is get the square. Sorry, let me put this in a... Get the square of the first term na may square root. Okay? Since minus to, so magiging plus na yan. Plus the product of the two Wait, let me zoom out a little bit. Para magkasya. And lastly, ma plus pa rin, plus the square of the last term. Okay po. So, ang sagot dyan, final answer dyan would be 3x minus 2y squared times 9x squared. Ito kasi yan. Plus 6xy squared kasi 3 times 2 is 6. x times y squared is still xy squared. And lastly, plus 4y raised to 4. This would be your final answer. Okay pa? So, I hope you got that. Ito na yung medyo basic na example and then we have a little bit of a complicated example. Okay pa? And always remember this. Kasi okay, dito lang naman tayo magsicirculate. If you do know how to do notations, madali na sa'yo para gamitin itong formula natin na to. Okay? So, thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.